type of woman, like a woman that's so-called okay in this society, that's only gonna come from being selective, man. Right. Not just trying to hop in bed with every scallywag that you see walking around here, man, just because she got a fat ass or whatever the case may be, man. Mentions. Yeah, the song, the, I forget who made it. I seen it on World Star as usual. Dude made a song called I Be I Be Nothing in These Pictures. That's that's what Jake was doing. I'm not, I'm not joking, that was the name of the song. <laughs> the song called I Be Nothing in These Pictures. And that's what Jake be doing. And Jake get caught up. Jake get caught up and this next thing you know you got a kid screaming, your woman screaming. Alright? Go ahead. Well, I was reading yesterday and I had a could you edify Matthew chapter 19 verse 8 and 9 about it's about the woman also. And, uh, Matthew 19 verse 8 and 9? Uh, chapter, chap yeah, chapter 19 verse oh, 8 and 9. Thank you. I think I understand it, but I'm not really too sure. Okay. 19 verses 8 and 9. Right. Matthew 19 verses 8 and 9. He said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffer. Oh, so, okay. Let's so start at. Uh, I got started with the higher. Start at the top. All right, Matthew 19 and 1. And it came to pass that when Yahweh Shad finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, sifting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? All right, so the Pharisees were coming being slick, saying, is it, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Pretty much right. right. Huh? That's pretty much trying to like test it. Right, right, right. They're trying to see what he's going to say. Go ahead. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Mm -hmm. Most high, go ahead. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. And they. We're talking about marriage. Right. Shall a man leave father and mother and Genesis. go and get his wife. All right. They will have sex and then they will do it dwell together. Right, right, right. Go ahead. And they twain shall be one flesh. They twain shall be one flesh, meaning now your vibrations are on one another. Right. Y'all the same flesh. That's your woman, you're a husband. Right. Wherefore, they are no more twain but one flesh. Mm -hmm. What therefore hey, on a side note, that's why you ain't supposed to be going to commit adultery. Right. right. Because if you look at, at a certain aspect, if they're one flesh, you go sleep with that woman, guess what? You slept with her husband. Almost such a what therefore God have joined together let I'm sorry think about it and brothers of car, we're talking about me and brothers of car and being in the car talking about crazy shit but on a serious note we're t you're talking about you got a, a man that's with his wife all right and he's gonna have sex with his wife do whatever the hell comes to his mind whatever they're gonna do you know he's gonna bust it off and his whatever and then you got some dude creeping waiting for his uh, the husband to leave so he can creep through the back door or the window and go and follow up right behind him. That's terrible. That's nasty, right? You wouldn't do no shit like that, right? When you really, when you think about it like that, you might not have thought about it like that in the world, but when you really sit and think about it like that, I keep from doing that shit. That's nasty. It's wicked and then it's nasty. Alright? Go ahead. What therefore God have joined together, let not man put asunder. Alright? They say unto him, why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement? Right, so I say, well, why did Moses command to give a writing of divorcement? All right, I ask him, so wait a minute, if you're saying that according to the law, or according to the Most High, the way he set it up, we're not supposed to have divorce, then why did Moses set up divorce? Go ahead. And to put her away. He said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. Right, because Jacob was being hella hard-headed. They, they were just having sex, putting their wives away, all right? And, 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 and not following the ordinances the way they're supposed to set up. So Moses set it up in the law that you could awfully divorce your wife, all right? As long as you do it according to the law, all right? And there's a process by which you have to do that, all right? But from the beginning, it was not so. From the beginning, it was not so. In Sirach, when you read the book of Sirach, uh, 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 I want to say it's 19, I, I can't remember, but it says, if thy wife will not, in fact, I believe it's the end of 25. If thy wife will not go, as thy we have her. Somebody get, somebody get it real quick. This is the very other end of 25. Uh, 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 
say somebody, somebody has to be doing something else. I got yeah. it. Yeah. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. Right. Whosoever put away his wife, except it be for fornication, except, uh, shall, has committed adultery. All right. So you can go and have another wife. But you're supposed to do it. Uh, 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 you're not supposed to put your other wife away. Right. It says that in the book of Exodus, uh, if you take unto the uh, another wife from the, from the one wife that you already got, you shouldn't diminish right. from her. Yep. Uh, it's uh, her duty. Be fair for her duties. If you you're taking care of this, one, you get a new wife. You're still supposed to take care of all the wife you got. Yep. All right. You're supposed to take care of all your women equally. But guess what? In this society, you can't do that. Right. That ain't happening. That's why Paul said it's best that a woman, a man, have one wife. Right. Now, that's not according to the law, but it's good advice. Yeah, now. Especially now, just deal with one woman. All right, deal with one woman at a time. Because if you deal with two, three, four women, Jake might to keep on. Gotta take 15 numbers. Guess what? You're gonna have to call her, then you go chill with her. You gotta put your phone, turn your phone off, and put it on mute. Because you're probably gonna have another chick calling you. Right. All right. The more women you got, the more games. Yeah. Because you got to deal with all of them. If you're going to deal out with all of them, you got to play. If you got 10 women, you got to play 10 cents a game. Yeah. Ten you ain't built for all that. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You ain't, ain't built for all that. You're going to yeah. kill yourself, man. You can't take care of these hoes, man. Yeah. You can't take care of these hoes. Oh. And these hoes are out of control. They're not playing by these rules. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You try to play by these rules and the hoes on the hoes number level game. Okay? That's right. Oh. So when our martial law break through, you gonna take care of them? <laughs> Man, hell no. You're gonna take care of yourself. Right. right now you can probably take care of yourself. You know? That's right, I can. Yeah. You know, now some brothers uh, come in, they got multiple uh, baby mamas situation so you deal with it accordingly man. yeah yeah but if you are coming to this truth and you got a spot on your own and you ain't got nothing that's locked down stay like that chill, that's right man. akia chill chill, <laughs> chill. be a young bachelor man chill. all right because this is your chief woman in the word that's right, right. Right. All right, that's what that's your main squeeze. So we're not worried about these worldly ass women, man. Right. You know, you deal with a woman, man. Oh, you know, Jake might have a side piece too. Right. And that that, that, that that you know, look, I see you on Wednesdays, Fridays, maybe some Sundays. You can make it work. <laughs> that's it. Deal with. But this is your main one. Beyond that, man. That's it. Man. That's right. I'm gonna have, two, I'm gonna have five women. That's just. I mean, like brother said, if you come into the truth, then you already dealing with that deal with it. But don't come to the truth and say, I'm going to get Becky, Rebecca, uh, you're not Tamika. A no, you're not a man. Have you a slave in America. Yep. So you got to move accordingly. And like I said, these hoes ain't playing by the rules of the scriptures. That's right. That's right. And you need to remember, this is always my rule in college. These hoes is hoes. That's right. <laughs> don't ever forget that. These hoes is home. Okay? So They've been groomed in this world to be a certain <laughs> way. That's right. Alright? Now, yeah, some brothers get lucky, you know, and they can find one that wants to be a one of them. They listen to them for the most part, kind of. And you just deal with it the best you can. But for them, man, 99% of them is out there. Just like two thirds of, uh, of men. Right? Yeah. They out there. Alright? Yep. Say this too. Hey, hey and, and the main part of the main uh, number one distraction is the woman. Yep. When it comes to this truth and learning, because so you got five women, five right? Guess what? You got to text off. We yeah. are in the texting age. Yeah. You know everybody texts. Yeah. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. You know, you know, you gotta look weird, but like you text. I text. <laughs> but you got to text. I'm gonna give you an example. So you have me on your reading right. This is a reality example. And you like, you know what? I get to this reading. Yeah. That one chick that probably been ignoring you. That's real bad. She finally just said, hey, so soon as you can read them scriptures, like the brother said, she sent you, she sent you a naked pic. You're like, ooh, shit. Now the Lord didn't win the background. Yeah. yeah. Quick. I had the kingdom to win the background. All you thinking about is get up on that. Bro, you'll take the you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. Right. People throw what they doing, man. 
he must have uh, uh, get you in that, but you gotta you gotta stop and wait. Yep. And I'm saying that because it happened to me one time. Yep. So so I, I'll give you reality on something that happened to me. Mm -hmm. And when I was in that ooh stage, I had to like fix the demon. I just ignored him. Lord willing, hey, he made that way, but hey man, the more women you got, the more it's a chance for that to happen. So right, more problems. So you do gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You your own man, you make your own decisions, but you gotta be wise about your decisions. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do the smartest thing. Period. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that, that's 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 a perfect example. More women, more distractions. Alright? I had a similar situation a couple of years ago. Shit. I was I was never gonna stay in the broad house. I was at the broad house three nights out the week one week. I said I knew I was tripping up in it. I was doing too much. Yeah. Yep. I didn't read nothing. I was, yep. uh, I was, man, I got home. I got home from camp Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. I was oh, at that bitch house. I said, you know what? Watching my best friend's wedding. Doing too much. Now nah, I wasn't doing all that. Put me out there. Man, speak for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't put that on me. That devil is a lie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn lie. But I was on that bitch. <laughs> the brother brought me a good example. The text. Yeah. Then you got the smartphone. God damn. Hey, you know what? I'll read a little bit later. Way too much technology to get you occupied like everybody else. It's all entertainment. That's right. entertainment too. All they doing is entertaining you to keep you away from what's really real. That's right. You might be a picture. You got something. Give me a second after now. Give me a second after now. Because while you're distracted by this woman, there are things going on around the globe that you need to be paying attention to. Because the Lord said, watch. The Lord said, watch. Yeah, so what you got going now? You got that Ebola virus. Now they kicking, they kicking that Ebola virus uh, in the news just to prepare you. They going to randomly bring two infected patients to Atlanta. And I hope something bad happens. I hope he speeds and shit yeah. on everybody. Talk about that doctor. Let's talk plagues. You know what I'm saying? But, but the prophets <laughs> talk about pestilence and plagues coming to America. Man. Right, right. All right. So uh, a quick Ebola uh, sweep epidemic. That's right. That ain't, that's gonna get your mind off the day, off the box. Right? That's right. Yep. All right. I need a very old. Yep. Second Ezra chapter nine verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." Right, the prophet Ezra is talking to the, the Lord, man. He said, "Look, you gotta measure the time, meaning you gotta you gotta line up current events with prophecy, okay? So the Lord won't catch you like a thief, because the Lord is coming like a thief in the night, like He said. That's right, bro. All right, not just a, a, a Harry Potter book you read and then you get to just go home. No, it's reality, man." He's coming like a thief, so you gotta measure the time. Okay, go ahead. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. And, and signs are passing. Okay, like we always say, earthquakes. Okay, you got all the, the earth is acting up, all these different volcanoes erupting. Okay, you got big earthquakes, smaller earthquakes, as the scripture said. Great earthquakes, plagues, which is going on right now, rumors of wars, and etc. Go ahead. Which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest. The very same time. Though we can't tell you Monday, so don't ask that question. We can't tell you Tuesday on you know I'm at 5 o'clock. We don't know that thoroughly. But what we do know, we know the signs because he said measure them. When you measure them, that's going to tell you that he's close and for you to get ready. Whether it happened on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, don't matter. You got to be ready, man. And that's what time we're in. He can come any moment right. because the prophecies are speaking and are saying he's coming any moment. So that's why we're on, on the streets and other brothers across the globe telling you what's going to happen to America. Not just America, all the other globes across the earth. Because we hop on America because America going to be a totally, totally annihilated. That's right. A big lake of fire. But overall, the Lord is coming down and taking many crowns. All the kings of the earth are going down. That's so right. He's going to establish his kingdom, okay? With this, with the true people of the Lord, the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Go ahead. Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people uproars in the world. Uproars of the people, that's been happening for the past years. The uproars of the people, they riding in the rain, they riding over here. Everybody riding and mad at their government. 
because they getting screwed. But why was you, when the Israelites was getting screwed, getting eaten by sharks off the slave ships? Okay? 